Uh, are you, you're going to use the visual aid? Yes. Okay. Uh, Jermaine, can you turn on all of those light switches right now? Yeah, that way, when the lights go out, there's still a little bit of light in here. So you're going to just turn out the one light on the one. Thank you. Okay. Good. Okay. Regulating materials deemed inappropriate or offensive may have begun when Socrates was accused, quote, firstly of denying the gods recognized by the state and introducing new divinities, and secondly, of corrupting the young, unquote, as on Socrates' censorship incident at the UFIC.edu website. He was sentenced to death for these crimes. Today, many modern governments are attempting to control the content on the internet. Although our legislators are well-meaning in their efforts to make the internet free from harmful material, the complexity of the issue infringes on our rights to freedom of speech. We need to regulate the internet. Today, we will look at current legislation governing the internet, an example of blocking and filtering software, how quickly our genius youngsters has grown the action on overcoming this new hurdle being placed before them. So what's the difference between regulating and controlling content? Currently, Georgia has implemented a law that, um, according to online censorship in the United States, an article on the ACLU's website, quote, well, criminalize the use of pseudonyms on the net and prohibits unauthorized links to a website with trade names or logos, unquote. Also found that the ACLU at the website was the action that the ACLU took against Miller. It overruled the previ this previous legislation. Twelve other states also have laws governing the internet. They're all different and there's no continuity between any of them. So what happens because of this inconsistency? You can be charged in 50 different states on 50 different reasons just by sending one email. The first legislation that was passed was the CDA Act, Child Decency Act. It was written into legislation in 1995. By June 1997, the Supreme Court ruled, quote, by trying to keep adult materials away from minors, the end result is reducing all online content which is suitable for children. Unquote. By 19, 1998, the COPA law was written, which is the Child's Online Protection Act. It's more precise. It required credit cards, adult access codes, and PIN numbers to view sites that were contained vulgar and obscene language. By February 1999, it was a preliminary injunction was issued from U.S. District Judge Lowell A. Reed, Jr. He forbid the U.S. Justice Department from prosecuting anyone on the COPA law. The plaintiffs in the case was the Journalism and Education Association and the ACLU. According to the American Library Association's website, the current legislation that we have, which is going to require all libraries and educational institutions to install filtering for blocking content on all computer term, term, terminals that access the internet. And in doing so, they will be eligible for e-rates, which means that the government will fund 20 to 90 percent of all their telecommunications. The problem lies in the definition of regulation. Marion went to section Dictionary, the new edition, copyrighted in 1994, quotes, a rule dealing with details or procedure is what regulation means, unquote. On the other hand, censor is, quote, an official who inspects printed matter with the power to suppress anything objectionable, unquote. It's this fine line that Congress keeps stepping over, establishing procedures versus suppressing anything objectionable. So now that we have the filtering and blocking software, and this is an example of it that comes with Internet Explorer, and this is where you can, you can uh, set up your controls, and here's the items that you're controlling, and 
by here, there's degrees of offensive language that you can screen out. And then this is a little box you get when you enter a website that um, is questionable. The problem here is when I went to the website, so I can understand how to set up the blocking software, it wasn't graded. I couldn't even get to it. And these are the levels of the, the rating levels, which is, you know, similar to what television is, but it's, it's rating levels. But the fact remains that what Congress failed to do was make websites be rated. So if you have filtering software, you're not going to be able to see anything. There's going to be so much content that you're not going to be allowed to view. And they're going to get hung up on this just like they have in all the other legislation that was passed. Um, librarians, for instance, they select books on the content. But with filtering, you select content that you want to suppress. And that's the difference between regulation and censoring. Um, while we're busy um, figuring out how to set up our filtering <coughs> software, our youth, of course, are figuring out how to de-block the software. While I was perusing, I came across this site, which is peacefire.com. And of course, how to disable your blocking software, because ignorance shouldn't have to be hereditary. This is set up by a 17-year-old, and he has various ways to get around all the blocking software. And specifically, this area here, those are a list of all the blocking softwares that currently are marketed, and they can get around it. So basically, the legislation is going to be ineffective. <clears throat> what we need our lawmakers to do is to write legislation that regulates but doesn't censor the internet. The fine line between regulating and controlling has been identified in current attempts to control the internet or its usage. We've seen how every attempt by Congress to control content on the internet has been overruled by the Supreme Court based on the First Amendment, our freedom of speech, resulting in censorship of the government. We looked at the blocking and filtering software and we can see how this is going to be ineffective. Finally, while we're still scratching our heads trying to figure out how to implement the blocking software, our children are busy be blocking it. Socrates was put to death for corrupting the young. While we agree that corrupting our youth should be punishable, we agree that we need what we need from our representatives in Congress is to articulate a legislation that can regulate the use of the internet not control or censor its content. 